Losing weight is a goal of many Americans, myself included. Fortunately, I have some good friends that are working towards this goal as well, and we really help each other by working together. It is great to have a supporting team. I'm here today to talk with Dr. John Aguanobi about teaming up to lose weight, why a support group can be the key to reaching your goals. Welcome, Dr. Aguanobi. Thank you, Stacy. It's great to talk with you today. Can you tell us why it's important to build strong social ties? Yeah. You know, the world is a crazy place. Lots of distractions, lots of things trying to pull you away from your health goals. It's critically important that if you're setting goals for yourself that relate to health and wellness, that you try to do it with a group of people. Don't try to go alone. It's just too hard to maintain the grind, to hit those milestones that you've set for yourself. With a group, with people who support you, with people who are on that journey with you, you're far more likely to achieve the outcomes you've set for yourself. Well, I know with my friends, we get the struggles. We get the highs and the lows, and it is great to have the support. So what are some of the well-being benefits to building these relationships? You know, when you have a group of people around you who care about what you're trying to do, they help you track your goals. They encourage you when you're feeling down. They might have insights or thoughts on how to improve your progress along that path. And when all is said and done, they help you celebrate as you achieve your milestones. Science shows that having a supportive network of people around you while you pursue your health goals makes the difference. It helps you deliver on your promises to yourself. I think it helps us hold ourselves accountable, exactly. Yeah. Um, what factors should we consider when we're searching for a new group to work out with? Yeah, so uh, it's critical, I think, that you start your journey by making sure you're clear on what your personal goal is. That way, you can go out and find a group that has a similar goal for the community that you're interacting with. You want to make sure that you're with people who support you. You want to make people who, who kind of understand the journey that you're on, whether it be a, an independent distributor or a coach who can help you with insights and advice, or just a supportive community of people who are on that same journey that you're on who can hold your hand and help you achieve your goals. So start by being very clear on what you're trying to do and then match that up with a community that is on a similar journey. Um, so much to consider. So where can viewers go to find more information? I, you know, healthy recipes, nutrition, fitness. Yeah. Losing weight is, is a big job. Yeah. So we have a website called Herbalife.com. It's a great website because you can go there. Not only do you get tips on food, on nutrition, on exercise, but it'll also help you find in your community a supportive network of people who can help you as you go on your journey. They can be there for you. These are people that you can match up so that they fit your goals. These coaches, this supportive uh, group of individuals that you'll find in your community, perhaps at a nutrition club, these are people that can help you achieve your goals. It sounds like it's important to find somebody that your goals are matching. Yeah, yeah. So Herbalife.com, that's where I would start. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Aguanobi, for this helpful insight. As I said, this is a struggle I have, um, and my friends and I are working together trying to reach our health and fitness goals. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Stacey.